Good morning, I'm Patrick O'Gara, cardiologist from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Harvard Medical School. I'm here at the ACC 2017 convention where we have just heard the results of the LEVO CTS study. LEVO stands for LEVO Semendan, which as you know is fits into a category of medications known as inodilators. On one hand it's an inotrope because it does sensitize the myocyte towards the uh, more efficient use of calcium. And on the other hand, it is also something that uh, interacts with potassium-gated ATP channels, as a result of which it does have some vasodilating properties and can reduce afterload and preload. The issue with the LEVO-CTS uh, study was really um, focused on uh, whether or not the use of this medication started an hour prior to surgery and continued for 24 hours would reduce the incidence of important clinical outcomes related to poor left ventricular systolic function. So these investigators recruited nearly 900 patients with reduced ejection fractions prior to surgery in the context of either coronary artery disease, valvular heart disease, or their combination. And they randomized patients to the use of levosimendan versus placebo, and then looked at clinical outcomes of a relevant nature that would speak to this issue of low output syndrome following cardiac surgery, which occurs in up to about 10% of our patients, particularly those with poor LV systolic function prior to surgery. The top line results from the trial were essentially neutral. Uh, there was no difference in clinical outcomes between patients given levosimendan versus those who were given placebo. The components of their primary outcome included things such as a death, uh, the need for renal replacement therapy, which is a surrogate marker for a very poor uh, left ventricular function, uh, as well as uh, the uh, need for mechanical assist. And then lastly, a fourth component having to do with myocardial infarction, which was very strictly defined by the investigators and uh, one that I think is uh, consistent with previous surgical definitions of perioperative myocardial infarction. The one difference between the groups that the investigators were able to observe was the fact that not unexpectedly, the use of levosimendan was associated with an increase in cardiac index following surgery, as well as a decrease in the need for the addition of uh, further inotropes uh, during the postoperative recovery period. I think this latter observation uh, would have been expected, otherwise one would have been concerned uh, that this particular agent did not have the intended biologic effect. Uh, the study had some major limitations related to its relatively small size. Uh, it was not particularly powered, for example, to answer the question as to whether the use of this inodilator would improve survival in this high risk, risk group of patients prior to cardiac surgery. I think in terms of practice, it remains to be seen whether the results of this trial will influence cardiac surgical or cardiac anesthesia practice in any fundamental way. Uh, unfortunately, uh, without a difference in clinical outcomes, it is hard to project uh, that it would be strongly recommended, for example, that this agent be used routinely. Perhaps there are patients who could be identified preoperatively for whom a low output syndrome in the first day after heart surgery would be particularly detrimental. And knowing that this agent can indeed increase cardiac output, perhaps it could be applied to a select group of patients. Uh, I do think that uh, the penetration in terms of the use of levosimendan is uh, not high when uh, looked at from the perspective of is it a routine inotrope that's used to support the circulation around the time of heart surgery. Certainly its use is uh, less than those of uh, other more familiar medications such as dopamine or dobutamine, levofed or epinephrine. Uh, so I think it is a, another medication within this armamentarium, but the results of this trial, which were essentially neutral, are, are not likely to have a fundamental impact uh, on the performance of uh, cardiac surgery or uh, myocardial uh, protection or improvement in myocardial function around the time of operation. 
So in summary, uh, the investigators from the Duke Clinical Research uh, uh, Institute are to be congratulated for conducting this multi-center trial in nearly 900 patients and for transparently uh, reporting these results. Uh, and we look forward to additional investigations in larger numbers of patients that might help place this particular agent in better context.